there, everybody. It's Keenan Fan of Gaming, and we are back at you with another new one. This is The Order 1886. This game looks absolutely fantastic. It's from uh, some of the creators of the God of War series, and I think this game is going to be a lot of fun to play. It's a really short campaign from what I hear. It's gonna. I think it's like five to eight hours long. Uh, depending on what your playthrough style is. If you're running gun all the way through, you can do it in like five hours. If you take in the scenery and have a little bit of fun and look around and uh, admire everything that has been put into this game, it's going to take you a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and start this thing. The Order 1886 will be playing through the whole campaign, and I believe we'll be doing a review afterwards. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. What's going on? What's happening? No! Go the ground? Nope. This is crazy weird. Wake up, friend. We're giving up the ghost now, aren't we? Oh my gosh. I think I'm being uh, tortured. Jeez. They're trying to drown me for answers. Get out of there, man. Beat him up. Come on, kid. Good gosh almighty. Ooh, snap. Not to worry. We'll come back and have another go later. Eh? All right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> come, come on. Get up. Up you get. Get up. <laughs> I'm in some crazy cell that uh, these guys are holding me and this is not looking good for me. Not at all. I've been beat to a bloody pulp and tortured like crazy. Sweet dreams, mate. All right, time to escape. Now it's time to make your escape, sir. Find the keys. Find the hole in the wall that's been covered by a poster. Look in the vents. No, this isn't the escapists. Just kidding. I'm just now coming to again. Oh. What are you trying to get out of me? <laughs> Oh, there is a first look at my guy. I can barely even it's walk. Like, Once a night. It's gonna last much longer. <laughs> Alright, come on, man. You gotta muster up enough strength to get out of here. This is the 20th day of November, 1886. Catacombs of Westminster. <laughs> Yeah, not so hard, was it? Here we go again. Here it is. Man, guys, you gotta figure this out. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Alright, get out of there. Oh, it looks like he's pulling up the bolt. You little oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, we got prompts. <laughs> Keep it going. Oh man. How'd you like that, fool? Now, I'll torture the torturers. <laughs> that was sweet. Bring it on. 
that the key down there? Grab with your foot, sir. Grab with your foot. That's the smart thing to do. We got it. We got it. Why don't you just pull it with your foot? At least we got the shackles off. Nice. So the, the game plays with the black bars on both the top and the bottom of the screen. I, I think it's to give it more of a cinematic feel. I'm not really 100% sure why they decided to, to do it that way. But it's pretty cool. Oh, man. I'm like falling over while I'm trying to move around. Was that an electrocution chair? Where they shock you and prod you? That's crazy. All right. Oh my gosh, I can barely even walk. Come on, knight. Get the heck out of here, man. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah, there's guards everywhere. Good job. Yeah. Because this is exactly where we want to be right now, right? While pushing forward on Lustic, click L3 to move faster. Okay. Can barely even move faster. Camera angle is sweet. Everything feels pretty good on this one. I've been hearing all kinds of uh, reports on clumsy controls. I guess we'll have to find out what that what that means later on. As of right now. This feels pretty unique and good. Use last stick to look over the object. Okay. No bullets. Just my luck. Blanks! Blank gun. Isn't there a bullet on the table? Looks like there's a bullet on the table. There's a couple bullets on the table. Why can't I just grab them? Oh man, look at the type of torture they've been doing. Oh my gosh, this is incredibly detailed. They've been doing a knife, they've been looks like they've been pulling people's teeth out. Oh my gosh. Oh, what do you call that right there? That's not cool. Dang, this game is crazy. Where do I, I want to get out of here, right? Oh. So I got an action right here. Oh. You better hurry, man. He is the escapist. Look at that. Get up there. Oh, he's so slow. Dude, don't let him catch you, man. Why don't you close it behind you to make it look like, <laughs> like you didn't escape? Now they're going to know. Supposed to pick the lock back up and just at least put it on, make it look like it's not even been opened. Now they're gonna find us, man. Who does that? You heard me, didn't you? Power transfer. Push and hold left and press circle to move from one piece to another piece. My eyes are barely open. <laughs> He's just moving on his own. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, there's werewolves! You see that? Jeez, oh, Pete. You got werewolves in here? Alright, man, we need a bullet. Move faster, man. Don't fall. He can barely even make it. Come on, dude. You better be feeling better real soon. 
All right, mate. Well, aiming the weapon, use oh, the other hand. Okay. Inside. Close up. Now what? Through, shall we? Uh oh. You're him, aren't you? That guy. Convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's where you are. Uh oh. Gotta wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. You're gonna help me leave this place, sir. He has a gun! He has a gun! Whoa, fellas! Whoa! Ah. They just killed him. How did he still survive? Oh boy. Another one of those. You got my gun. Take him down. Oh boy. Right stick. Square. Okay, I got you. Right stick for those actions. Huh. Oh boy. Choking him out! Oh. Almost it. Veins are starting to pop out of his head. Just kidding. Oh! That didn't look good. Nice escape attempt, sir. Oh no, we're okay. Just kidding. What the heck was that? I did something wrong. Maybe I'm, I, I missed the prompt somewhere. Try this again. Okay. Oh, there he goes. I guess I didn't press it fast enough or something? My next shot will not be a warning. Come on, man. Get the heck out of here. Man, this is ominous. Up on the roof! Oh boy. Hands where I can see them! You think you're gonna leave? You better hope somebody comes and helps you. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Got a whole triangle. Okay, hold it. Goodbye! Come on, man. Try to make your decision. No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Oh, yeah. I think we might have been the, one of the first ones to escape. And that is just the beginning of the Order 1886. Nice little intro. The, the Some of the on-screen prompts, I, I must have missed one or I didn't hold the X button. I'm not really sure exactly what happened there. Come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little... Chapter 1, Always a Night. We have confirmation of multiple marks of Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous the United... The 12th day of October. Lafayette ...and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Identify the United India House. Your current goal appears at the top of the screen. 
Oh man, this is how we start. Whoa! Right stick to look around. We gotta identify the India house. Hold L2 and use right stick to focus on details and identify distant objects. Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion Inspect. should help. Nice inspection. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. The artwork and visual direction of this game is absolutely amazing. We're sat in like a steampunk lung London. And this is just insane. Look at that. Looks really nice. Everything's crisp. I think if I, I thought I said if I press L3 I can move faster. Huh. Oh, even when you walk over the puddles. That's nice. I think we're about to run into some difficulties real soon. Oh, look at that. Whose house are we in? Oh, does that mirror work just like we would like it to? Nope, we can't see ourselves. Oh, that's weird. Over here we should be able to, though. Meet with a grain. Is that a grain over there? Oh, what the heck's up with that? Come on, mirror. Click and hold R3. This is going to take me all the way around. Huh. That's pretty sweet. Nice. I get a, I get a full viewpoint right there. That's cool. Who are you? Are you a grain? Nope. You're not a grain. We got a book here. Hmm. Morning Post. Mysterious disappearances in White Chapel. The deputy coroner has opened an inquiry in respect to the death of the woman found in Whitechapel last Tuesday, instant with four stab wounds in her abdomen and bruising on her throat. Nathaniel Abbott, waterside laborer, age 32, discovered the woman in the alley way behind Paula's tavern after leaving the establishment at quarter to 12. Abbott stated the deceased was lying on her side when discovered. He assumed she had fallen victim to drink and had collapsed outside. After seeing the blood on her clothes, Abbott tried to wake her, but the woman would not be stirred. Abbott described the woman as hanging on to life and breathing only ever so slightly, unable to rouse her as he called for a doctor who pronounced the unfortunate creature deceased shortly after arriving. After inquiries, no patrons at the tavern reported hearing of seeing the dastardly assault. The woman has yet to be named, with none attempting to identify the remains and her description not matching that of reporting missing persons. Hmm. What else do we got? Eat with the grain. We want to go over here and check it out. See what's happening. Nothing in that door. And I don't think we can go over in here. Nice moving on the clothes even. The clothes are detailed to the T. That gun is just awesome. Get downstairs, sir. We got a meeting. We got a date. We're late for a very important date. What's this picture? Yep. Hmm. Inspect. Look on the other side. That's say, Wyndham family, 20th July, 1886. W. Thompson Portrait Studio. Hmm. Wonder what, uh... 
type of sense that's supposed to make? Another one of those guys. And nothing over here that looks of importance. Hmm. Oh, snap. Grabbed it. Phonograph cylinder. Wax cylinder contains a recorded audio message. Press options and select Archive to listen to this recording. All right. So, Archive. Huh. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke was called the Duke of Tintagil. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords, they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for, that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. Right. Get out of here. We got over here. Acknowledge. Board and jump across, huh? Well, are we missing stuff in the house first? We'll we'll check that out in just a second. I want to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, we've already been in there. What do we got over here? Anything? Nothing. All right, we're out. That's supposed to be the elevator that he's repairing? I think so. Off to the street, guys. Wait, hold on. There's something over here. Maybe. Make sure we don't, we don't want to miss any details or secrets. This is, I, I like the style. It, it plays true to what the game's supposed to be. Ooh, you're a jumper. Get down there, then. Nice to take it all in. These are so old school. Well, drop down. Yalahan, hey, Gray, any word from the fire? Negative. Same here. He's probably off somewhere gallant at him. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. All right, my friends, we're going to stop it right there. If you want more The Order 1886, make sure that you slap that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Peace out, and bedizzle.